Welcome back to RBN News. Our top story tonight, Carter Elementary School fourth grader Susie Schmidt has won the local spelling bee. Here to comment is our panel. Shocking news, huh, panel? Absolutely. Shocking. Just unbelievable. Now, obviously, the first question on everyone's mind is who the hell is Susie Schmidt? As an expert on stuff, I've seen her public records. No driver's license, no voter ID. You know, I'm not even sure she's from this country. Until I see a birth certificate? I'm not buying it. No driver's license? She's probably got a DUI. No job history either. She's clearly unemployed and leeching off the system. And leeches are bad. I learned that on YouTube. Let's be real here. She's stealing. She's stealing plastic spelling bee trophies from hardworking Americans. Does anybody else not have coffee in their mug? Well, we called Susie's residence and spoke to her mother and her mother said that, quote, it's past her bedtime. Sunset was 641 today. Seems like a likely story. Now, why on earth would she be dodging the media? Why dodge the media if you have nothing to hide? I hide when I have something to dodge. As an expert on stuff, I've also looked into her public records. She came under fire last year for doing things like running in the halls, whispering during quiet time. Unbelievable. Let's just give these kids whatever they want. iPads, words. You know who else knew a lot of words? Hitler. Her last name is Schmidt. Not everything is dubstep. Yeah, youth. Yes. And guess who ultimately foots the bill for these spelling bees? You, you, me, you, the American taxpayer. Well, for more on that topic, we're gonna throw it over to Jorge at the RBN Smart Wall. Jose? Well, thank you, Ray. Thank you very much. We're just really happy to be on top of this so we can help the community. Now, these are very distressing news. Uh, again, I like to urge parents to please uh, cover your children's noses and ears for this. Uh, there was a slight increase in spelling bees in the year 2008, as you can see in the graphics behind me. Uh, also, this was the same year as the housing market crash and the economy tanking. So I don't like to use hyperbole, Ray, but at this point in juncture, death will come to us all. Back to you. Thanks, Jesus. Panel, thoughts? Uh, here's my question. Was that even English? Didn't understand a word he just said. Yes, and the bigger question is why spend tax dollars rewarding someone for something that autocorrect can do for free if you have an iPhone? Distracting our children with useless skills like spelling and mathematics, and that's why the Chinese are gonna take our jobs by 2025. Hmm, there's a lot of them. Honestly, who needs another Panda Express? I don't. I've got one right next door. Hashtag yes. This is just business as usual for one of the most powerful and corrupt groups of people in America, the public school teacher. I'm tired of these greedy teachers asking for more money. What, $32,000 a year isn't enough? Ugh. Get rid of the teachers and then we can start talking about progress. What have teachers ever done for anyone? Touch me. That's about it. Not to mention that this contest was held on a Sunday evening, the day of the Lord. No thinking should be done on this day. It's all part of the war on Christmas. You know who should come back to teaching? You know who needs to come back from break? Jesus. Mm. Let's get Jesus off the cross and into American classrooms. How much did Jesus demand for a salary? Third Two fish and a piece of bread. That's right. Jesus wasn't looking for handouts. He wasn't looking for vouchers. That's right. I guess what I'm trying to say here is let's get Jesus on the Senate. Let's get Jesus on the Public Opinion Committee. Amen. And now to get public opinion, we go to Jules Medcraft, who's live on location. Jules? Thanks, Ray. It is absolute pandemonium out here outside of Carter Elementary. As you can see, the rioters are making their way outside of the parking lot. It is just up in arms. The Americans, oh, here, here, we have one of the rioters right now. Excuse me, sir, sir, excuse me. I know, I'm so glad you escaped that mess. How do you feel about the Susie Schmidt event? Who? Panel, thoughts? Without a bipartisan recount, we can't even tell if she entered this contest in the first place. And I'm an expert on stuff. Yeah, today she's sneaking into contests, tomorrow she's giving handies in the truck stop bathroom. The America I grew up in, everybody got a trophy. Everybody. Not just some kid who could spell automatopoeia. Now we have to ask ourselves, who are these judges that allowed Susie Schmidt to win? How do they even know if the contestants are spelling the words right in the first place? Like what is there some sort of a book that tells all of the words that exist and if they are spelled correctly? Doubtful. Good layer. Coming up after the break, the 10 things you're doing right now, right this second, that could make you fat and kill you. 
More on this after the bullshit. We'll be right back, Ray. Nope. Stay tuned, we will cover every cup. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, we will cover as we say, oh man, can you see? And I just hope the cyanide pill that I just took will take me to the sweet release of death. America, America, America.